and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Royal Decree 26 of 2019. Under the decree, Amna Ahmad Rashid Al Rumehi was appointed as Assistant Under Secretary for Competitiveness and Economic Indicators, and Maryam Adnan Abdullah Al Ansari as Assistant Under Secretary for Follow Up and Coordination, both at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy. The Minister of Finance and National Economy shall implement the Royal Decree, which takes immediate effect and will be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty the King also issued a Royal Decree 27 of 2019, appointing Nasser Sultan al Suwedi as Chief Executive Officer at the National Oil and Gas Authority Noga with the rank of Under Secretary, and Faihan Mohammed al Faihani as Deputy CEO for Strategies and International Relations at Noga with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary. The Minister of Oil shall implement the Royal Decree which takes immediate effect and will be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty also issued a Royal Decree 28 of 2019, appointing Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa as Director General of Land Registration at the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, SLRB. The Prime Minister shall implement the Royal Decree, which takes immediate effect and will be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty also issued a Royal Decree 29 of 2019, appointing Sheikh Salman bin Muhammad Al Khalifa as Deputy Chief Executive Officer for Operations and Governance at the Information and E-Government Authority IDA with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary. The Minister of Interior shall implement the Royal Decree, which takes immediate effect and will be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 30 of 2019, appointing Abdullah Khalil Mohammed Bouhiji as Director General of Bahrain News Agency at the Information Affairs Ministry, with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary. The Minister of Information Affairs shall implement the Royal Decree, which takes immediate effect and will be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 31 of 2019 on restructuring the Secretariat General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports as follows. The Secretary General will be responsible for Assistant Secretary General with the rank of Under Secretary, Director General of Planning and Resources with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary. The Director of Planning, Policies and Follow-up and the Directorate of Resources and Services will report to the Director General of Planning and Resources. The Prime Minister shall implement the Royal Decree, which takes immediate effect and will be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today ratified and issued Law 3 of 2019 on amending Article 325 of the Penal Code, promulgated by Law 15 of 1976 under the law which had been approved by the Shura and Representatives Council. The text of Article 325 was changed as follows. Every person who forces a male or a female to commit acts of debauchery or prostitution by way of coercion, threat or trickery shall be liable to imprisonment for a period of no less than five years and no more than seven years. If the victim is less than 18 years of age, the punishment shall be a prison sentence for a period of no less than seven years and no more than 10 years. The Prime Minister and Ministers, each in their capacity, shall implement the provisions of this law, which takes effect a day after its publication in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safiya Palace Michel Khadouri and his wife Lady Khadouri, Lord Snowden Andre de Mare and his wife Franz de Mare and Prince Augusto Rufo to greet His Majesty on the occasion of their visit to the kingdom to attend the 2019 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. His Majesty the King welcomed the guests and affirmed his pride in the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and their countries. Talks were held in the Formula One race and the role of such international sports events in increasing communication and rapprochement between people. His Majesty wished them a pleasant stay in Bahrain. For their part, the guests expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, hailing the development of Bahrain in various fields. They wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received Greek businessman Spirolatsis along with a number of his family members at the Safriya Palace today, who visit Bahrain to attend the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2019. His Majesty welcomes Pyro and his family and praised the Bahrain Greek ties on all aspects, including economic, commercial, and investment. His Majesty wished Spyro and his family an enjoyable stay in Bahrain and best of luck in the future. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received senior royal family members and officials at the Qudaybiyah Palace today. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the government's keenness to continue elevating the quality of services provided to the citizens in all sectors, as well as to maintain the sustainability of access to these services in accordance with the highest levels of efficiency, citing it as a cornerstone of the government's efforts to serve the citizen. During the meeting, His Royal Highness noted the achievements made by the Kingdom of Bahrain in various fields due to the solidarity of the Bahraini people and their significant efforts that contributed to solidifying the Kingdom's status regionally and internationally. His Royal Highness also noted that the medical sector in the Kingdom receives great care and attention, adding that the government constantly works on developing the quality of health services, providing hospitals and health centers with all the necessary resources and capabilities to ensure that citizens receive the highest levels of care and treatment. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the medical competences of Bahrain, hailing in this regard the efforts of the health sector's affiliates for the provision of a modern and sophisticated service that enhances the citizens' health. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at the Qudaybiyah Palace the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani and Chairman of the Chamber of Commerce Samir Abdullah Nas along with other members of the Chamber's Board of Directors. The guests presented the results of the joint study which has been agreed upon previously as per the orders of His Royal Highness the Premier. The study concluded with a number of recommendations which are intended to apply the directions of the Premier to the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and tourism to put a feasible action plan based on the available data and information. His Royal Highness ordered studying the application of the recommendations of the joint study, which His Royal Highness recently put forth to protect in the interests of small and medium-sized businesses and to decrease the number of obstacles in their path as they face various challenges. His Royal Highness assigned the task to Deputy Prime Minister to follow up on the matter and to liaise with the relevant government governmental authorities. His Royal Highness added that the government is keen on developing the regulatory framework of the country in order to help the economic function more efficiently and competitively and to create a business-friendly environment by listening to the input of businessmen in this regard. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain's commercial sectors enjoy a long history of pioneering initiatives which have contributed to the development of Bahrain's economy through various commercial and industrial real projects. His Royal Highness also affirmed that Bahraini businessmen will remain the most important element in the government's plans to craft its development strategies. His Royal Highness then congratulated the Chamber of Commerce for 80th anniversary, which he said represents a corner store in Bahrain's history of social and economic development. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Khudaybiyah Palace the Ambassador of Pakistan to the Kingdom Afdal Mahmood, where His Royal Highness discussed with him the bilateral relations and ways to further bolster these relations. His Royal Highness praised the level of cooperation between the two countries, thanks to both countries' leaders and their efforts to enhance coordination in all fields. He expressed keenness to further enhance the cooperation between the two countries in all fields through investment and encouraging businessmen in both countries to benefit from the friendly ties between the two countries. His Royal Highness praised the role of the Pakistani community in the kingdom and their role in pushing the development march forward. The ambassador of Pakistan to the kingdom expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his role in strengthening the bilateral relations as well as the cooperation in all fields. He affirmed his country's keenness to further enhance the bilateral relations and the development witnessed in all fields. The custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, received the deputy prime minister and head of Bahrain's delegation participating in the 30th regular session of the Arab League summit, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. The deputy prime minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and their wishes of abundant health and happiness to the custodian of the two holy mosques and of further progress and prosperity to Saudi Arabia. The deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia were discussed. The agenda of the Arab summit was also reviewed, where the unity of Arab positions and solidarity was emphasized in the face of common threats and challenges to the Arab countries and their peoples. The Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmad also attended the meeting. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa conveyed the regards of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Subah Ahmad Al Subah, upon meeting him. During the meeting, the deep rooted ties between Bahrain and Kuwait were affirmed as they cooperate and coordinate based on their common interests in all aspects. The agenda of the Arab summit was also reviewed, where the unity of Arab positions and solidarity was emphasized in the face of common threats and challenges to the Arab countries and their peoples. Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmad also attended the meeting. The Tunisian President Qaid al Sipsi received the Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, the head of Bahrain's delegation participating in the 30th regular session of the Arab League Summit, which began today in the Tunisian capital. The Deputy Prime Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and their wishes of abundant health and happiness to the President and further progress and prosperity to Tunisia. His Highness congratulated the Tunisian President on Tunisia's hosting of the Arab League Summit, which will increase cohesion between Arab countries. The agenda of the Arab Summit was also reviewed, where the unity of Arab positions and solidarity was emphasized in the face of common threats and challenges to the Arab countries and their peoples. The Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmad also attended the meeting. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa received First Deputy President of Sudan, Sudanese Defense Minister and Head of Sudan's delegation to the Arab Summit in Tunisia, General Awad Mohammed bin Auf. During the meeting, the fraternal ties between Bahrain and Sudan were affirmed, along with the opportunities for further cooperation in all aspects. The agenda of the Arab Summit was also reviewed, where the unity of Arab positions and solidarity was emphasized in the face of common threats and challenges to the Arab countries and their peoples. The Deputy Premier wished Sudan and its people further prosperity, stability and development. Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmad also attended the meeting.
The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, where it approved decree by Law 60 of 2018, amending a number of provisions of Law 60 of 2006 on restructuring the Legislative and Legal Affairs Authority. The decree aims to add a number of amendments to the authority's role and tasks to fill the absence of an authority that resolves differences between ministries, institutions and public authorities. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, inaugurated Bahrain International Transformational Leadership Conference with the participation of company presidents and senior officials in ministries and government authorities, and over 200 participants from inside and outside Bahrain from various sectors. The minister affirmed that the leadership in Bahrain is the best example of successful transformation, leadership citing the experiences of leading global thinkers in the field. He he asserted the effective administrative leadership is the most important element in the success of institutions and organizations of all kinds. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs also reviewed the role of transformational leadership in the field of sustainable energy. He also gave a presentation on the achievements of the Kingdom in renewable energy and energy efficiency. The second day of the 2019 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix came to an end at the Bahrain International Circuit, where motorsport fans enjoyed plenty of action and excitement, both on and off the racetrack, including a support race program that featured Formula Two and the GT3 Cup Challenge to support Formula One on track, along with acclaimed DJ Kaigo, who took the stage. It's a very enjoyable place. Uh... I think uh, Formula here in Bahrain, you know, almost 15 years, I think, is coming every year. It's better and better and better. This year, I can see so many change, yani. so many active activities. Uh, the ceremony of the Formula is very good. And, and season is very good. It was in the, in the daytime, that time. It was very hot, very, now it's okay, it's become a night, a night time, it's very good, good idea. Uh, I like the formula because there is cars who is fast and uh, tomorrow I wish that Mercedes won. I like formula because there is lots of fun things and lots, and lots of food and I like Formula too much. The concert has been an amazing experience this year as the artists they brought um, were really enticing and were really amazing. F1 is one of my favorite events of the year, um, especially this year. It's unique, different, um, uh, with all the entertainment uh, and obviously the concerts, the DJs. The reason I love this, uh, uh, the F1 is because this is where Everyone, people that live in Bahrain or outside of Bahrain, they come to Bah, they come to this event and meet up in one place. Most enjoyable thing in F1 is uh, hanging around with uh, friends, meeting all all of my um, all my uh, friends and family, and staying around for the concert. Um, I believe Martin Garrix and Kygo are the two, uh, one of the top DJs in the world, um, and we liked we were so happy and excited when they brought them to to Bahrain. This is my second day in F1. We still didn't start the party, but alhamdulillah, يعني, yesterday was fun. Oh yeah, I've been going to F1 yearly. This year has been amazing. يعني. The F1 has something for everything. It has different kinds of activities, different things you can do. If you're not here for the race, you can come for the concert or for the uh, other activities or games that there are. First of all, thanks for, the, for F1 and the, and the BIC management for this great event. I see that this year it has a lot of improvement. Uh, in uh, an entertainment level, for example, bringing very uh, known uh, DJs and, uh, and artists to Bahrain. And of course, also, uh, as you can see, they implement the highest technology in uh, entertainment. And that's so, uh, so gorgeous. And I think that, that Bahrain should keep developing this.